Michael here at drawingteachers.com. I'm going to do the name Tiffany in teal. Uh, let's see, there's a lot of straight up and downs in here. We've got the, uh, the T, and we've got the I, and we've got two Fs, and we've got a big A. And we've got the N, and we've got a Y. All right, there we've got the basics for our Tiffany. And let's go ahead and start filling this in. It's okay if some of these touch, like if that part of the T connects up right there with the I, and uh, let's let the F connect, we'll let it connect down there. Let that drop down below, so we have room for that. Making adjustments here as we go. And we're going to let this part of the F connect right into that one. See how that's going? Shade in the sticks on that. Looks like that's going to connect right there. Let's kick that up a little bit. Get that bridge right there. The short piece right there. Looks like the, the A and the N, we're going to let those just connect as one together there. Sheriff on that end, and we'll do one up here on this one. These serifs are just like rectangles. And let that connect right there with that Y. Let that connect in there. Some of this just have to go with it, and uh, you know, if it's just a total disaster, well, uh, I'll try another one. I uh, actually sketched some of these out a couple of times, trying different things. Some of them work really well in the first iteration. Some of them I have to do several times before I get a feel for how all the letters are going to connect together. And of course, the more times you do letters, then the more used to, used you get, the more custom you get to the different letter shapes. And then you can add variety for different names. All right, so let's take this black marker and go around this Tiffany design. And again, I'm letting these these cut in here. If you've seen some of the other videos we've done, let those cut in or pinch in right there. To look like they've connected at a narrower spot and then here where these connect we just let that happen right there and sometimes you've got little bits of little bits of marker that are irregular and you can just wiggle with them and go with them like that that, that adds some interesting flair to your letters These are certainly letters that are hand done. You can't get this kind of look with a computer program because you're adding your own special touch to the letters.
and we're all the way back to the T. All right, Tiffany and Teal. Now let's come back in with some dark down at the bottom here. And I'm not going to fill it to the very edge. I'm going to leave a little bit of the edge as a highlight. And I'm going to use this same teal here to shoot a border around the whole name. Right there like that and let's go ahead and use this, this interesting cascading base here to do some cool wavy things here we'll add a little energy here by emphasizing some corners. Excellent. And now, let's see if we can get this whole thing to stand off by coming in with some, some yellow back in here. It's going to complement this teal really nicely. You can really make the, some of that look green. Uh, you could do this in, do this in other colors, of course. Uh, we're staying sort of in this family of blues and greens and teals. Fun thing to write your name this way, also fun thing to write it this way for a friend. Let's see a spot in here where we didn't connect and uh, kind of call that done. So uh, Tiffany, I hope you like that. There are other things you can do with it to, to liven it up, but uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap this lesson up. and. You can use this same technique for uh, really any letters, so have fun making your graffiti name.